Hi guys, my name is Carla and welcome to my plan channel, Trophilis the New Black. Today we are going to be doing a terrarium! Yay! I'm quite excited because I really wanted to do a terrarium since a while. So this is the time that I will really, really, really going to do it. So I will take you along. First I'm going to tell you how did I collect the moss that I will be using. Then I will tell you how to prepare the moss and then we'll start with the terrarium. So let's go! Hi guys, so I'm going to take a little bit of moss for my terrarium. Um, I have the luck that the parents of my boyfriend have some moss in the backyard. So here we find a nice patch of moss. So what we want to do is just take a small bit of it and you want to take it with the ground. So so you take the bit, take it out, and normally you try to place it back, whatever is left, so that the patch regrows and you don't deplete anything. And so this is the nice patch of moss that we took and we're going to clean it so that we can use it and reproduce it as well at home to build our terrarium. So basically what you want to do is the moss that you pick it up I will just put it into here to let it soak for a bit so that I can clean it up a little bit better and take all the debris and stuff that shouldn't be there. So I will just leave it here it's just to let it soak for a bit and then clean it up. So you can already see all of these parts that are a bit trash and some other debris that are not part of the moss so these things you don't want to include them so then you just leave it and also I mean there might be some animals and some other stuff so you also want to get rid of that at the beginning so now finally we can start with the terrarium the main reason why I wanted to start the terrarium is because I had some plants like this one that is called confetti plant, well that's the common name, and I need to water quite often. And if you don't do, you can see here in the back that it will die. So it's a bit stressing for me to have to take an eye on it all the time. And the same happens with my phytonia. This is my phytonia. So you can see that, yeah, I tend to forget to water it and it's just looking horrible. Luckily for me, it has new growth. So I will try to put it in and see what happens in the terrarium. So what I'll be using is this bottle that I bought a while ago, especially for this project. And I'll be using this one. Then what you will need is some gravel to make the false bottom so in this case i will be using this and this gravel i have some rocks here for decoration then you need some activated carbon and uh, some normal soil in this case i am using a mix of palm soil with normal soil for plants <laughs> you also need a mesh i don't have a mesh in this case i will be using this bag that is actually i got it with jewelry <laughs> So I will cut this one uh, a little bit bigger than the diameter of my container to make this separation between the false bottom and the ground. Why is this important? Because it will keep away the roots and the soil to go into the false bottom. Okay, with this let's start. So then I will start by putting this, the, the more coarse gravel into the bottom a couple of centimeters deep perfect then I will just add a little bit of the slightly thinner gravel and I will use my spoon to just distribute it well into the bottom Perfect. Now that this is done, I will sprinkle activated carbon into the bottle. So you can see that this is a good layer of activated carbon. And now what we want to do next is the mesh. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in half. Perfect. And after this one is open like this, what we want to make sure is that this is a little bit bigger in the shape of our container. So I'm going to cut it about here. Let's see. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. So what we want to do is put it inside and in my case, I don't have some tweezers, so what I have to do is just with this spoon try to make it... Okay, perfect. And now, I'll just drop some soil. So now what you want to do is take your plant and try to arrange it inside. Okay, the plant is there, there is no need to damage the roots that much. So what I will do is just put it like this. And for that I will just use my spoon to make a hole in the middle. And then I'll try to set up the plant in there. Okay, now as I mentioned, I also have this one, so it's going to be a little bit complicated to set it in. So I'm not sure if I want to do it, but I'll try first. So I'm going to cut the parts that are already dried off, and I will leave only the parts that are still alive. Oh, by the way, let me show you. So at the end, you have something like this, eh? so it's just a piece of stuff with just a couple of leaves. So let's see if that can make it. Okay, so I put that. I am basically pressing now a bit to just put everything into place with this spoon. Something very important is volume of false bottom compared to soil. So in this case, it's half half. That's perfect. So now, um, what I'm going to do is from the most that we already prepared, I'm going to take some pieces from it. with these chopsticks and I am going to put it in. Sorry if you cannot read, see very well, but basically what I'm just doing is trying to put the moss around the plant okay now you can see that it was more or less distributed and what i will do is put some decorations such as rocks so i'm going to be using this one for this side like this this one for the other side So the moss should grow at some point and cover good the bottom. So I'm just putting a little bit of it. Okay, hopefully that was enough. And now what is left is just to water. Spray some water in the surroundings. Well, I also wiped good the sides. Very good. Now that it is well watered, what we want to do is first to clean slightly the wind, the surroundings. So for that I'm going to use a clean cloth. Our terrarium is ready and the only thing that we need to do is cover it with the cork. Um, important is, so now it's going to be totally sealed, but it is important to monitor it. What does that mean? 
Um, I put now some water, but I cannot be sure if that is the right amount of water. So I just need to put it in a kind of bright and not that cool position. And then what I need to check just is that if it condenses too much on the glass, what I need to do is open it a bit and just let a little bit of evaporation go on. First thing is open it and smell it after one and a half months. Da -da -da -da. Mm, like wet soil. Good indication, it's doing good. Awesome. Okay, you can see it here. The exciting bit is that actually it has grown quite a bit. You can see that the plant is already <laughs> all the way till the top. So you can see here, this is the polka dot plant. And uh, then here you have like the bit of the phytonia that I put that also is bigger. Then you see in the bottom, the moss that is also pretty long. As I mentioned first, we are going to chop off the plant. For this, I will look where I could chop it, that it still will look nice for the decoration. Uh, so I think I will chop it actually a little bit low so that it lasts at least a couple of months more without any maintenance. Anyway, we know that it will grow. So I will do this at the very beginning of where the leaves are. So here I chop the first bit, then I will chop also this one, let me see. Okay, so then here you can see the stem of this one go going long there. I will chop, try to chop it from the base. Done. So this very long bit, as you can see, it's already off. And this other smaller bit as well. So I'll try to put these ones in water to propagate them, see if it works. So that's out of the way. And next is this small bit that we have here, so I will chop it as well from the base. Done. And we have also this bit out of the way. Okay, looking at... So I will move these ones on the side. And looking at how it looks now, it looks very similar as the beginning. The plant doesn't look bald or chopped. You have the big beautiful leaves that are speckled with pink and you also have here the phytonia that is actually growing quite nicely the nerve plant as you can see here and um, yeah it looks bigger so actually give it gives it a punch of color that i like well guys it was a very nice project to do i hope that you actually push yourself into doing something like that i don't know you you feel very like relaxed and so on while doing this I just loved it and I didn't stop here like since this one I have done some other four that I will show you hopefully in another video and uh, let me know what you think in the comments below and remember if you like the channel subscribe click the bell for notifications for every time that I upload a video and thank you for watching see you next time <music>